Where are you going to distribute those key phrases and the keywords that you already selected? There are three areas that you can actually focus on. The first one is within the back end of your website, like the title tag, the meta tag. Secondly, within the content. So you have an about page, you have a blog content, you have to implement them in those places. And three, uh, movie files, uh, audio files, or images, those material should have some type of relevant key phrases on them. You got that? Now, what kind of tools out there that you can actually use to do all this stuff? First one, you can use Google Keyword Planner. It's a free service. If you have a Gmail account, you can just go ahead and search for Google Keyword Planner and log in and start doing some research. Secondly, one of my favorite is called Market Samurai. And by the way, Market Samurai has been usified. <laughs> I love this tool because it is attached to Google Keyword Planner and other services such as Majestic SEO. So if you spend an hour researching on Google Keyword Planner, Marcus Samurai can cut, the, cut those hours into like maybe 30 minutes. And it can do more than just key phrases and keyword research, such as content research, and uh, it will give you the information about the difficulty, which keyword that you can use and which you can't. Number three, Keyword Spy. This is another uh, third-party company. Uh, they do have a free version and a paid version. One of the cool features that I like about it, if you want to look at your competitor and find out what kind of Google AdWords they use, you can find it through Keyword Spy. Word Tracker is another awesome tool. And Traffic Travis. All these tools are amazing uh, that will help you to do the keyword researches. For now, you can just start with the basic, and that is keyword, uh, Google Keyword Planner, okay? Now, let me tell you about the proper strategy and the effective ways of doing keyword research. When you start with the keyword research, you always start with a general keyword, you know, such as woman, woman's shoes, Nike, Apple, chiropractor, and so forth. Once you do that, tools like Google Keyword Planner will give you a variation of other key phrases that the consumer or the target market already looked for. So once you do that, Google Keyword Planner will give you 800 variation from that one word. First, focus on the relevancy of those key phrases. Once you look at the relevancy, go through all the 800, remove the one that doesn't relate to you, and keep the one that does relate to your product and services. So let's say you ended up having 300 out of 800. So what you do right now, you have five pages on your website, and you have 300 keywords or key phrases. So what should you do? Put all of them on the site? No, you can't. That's gonna be insane. What you need to do is you pick top five out of the 300 so you can implement it on your website. The rest of the uh, 295, you can use them in social media, such as in implementing a hashtag, and uh, post, blogging, videos, and podcasts, so you can still get some you know, visibility and traffic from an external source. That's it, folks. If you have any other strategies or need any techniques that you've used better than mine or can help our community, please comment below and we'll see you next time. Now, let me leave you something that you need to think about. Stop wasting time to be perfect because if you wanna focus on perfection, nothing's going to happen. You're gonna waste everybody's time. That is my code. Unfortunately, I didn't. So, no quote. give us some of your own wisdom. All wisdom? Kick somebody's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> do or do not.